Welcome back everyone! This is part 4 out of 5 short tutorial videos on how to get started with Perceptor Labs. By now we installed and ran Perceptor Labs, went over the UI, and went through the modeling process by building a GAN model from scratch. Let's get to the fun part and see how the modeling is performing during training, testing, and validation. To start the training, all we need to do is to press this Run button. This will put you in the statistics view, cause the model to start initializing, and then run the training loop. In here you can also always go back to your model, pause the training, or just stop it. In the middle, you'll be able to see the progress of your model, and how far the training has gotten. The top part of the statistics is how your model is generally performing. These ones are specific for each training component, so the one we're looking at now is only the one for the GAN training component. Here we can see things such as the generator loss, where you can both see during one epoch as well as over all epochs. The discriminator loss, which shows similarly. We can see samples from the real input compared to the generated output. And if you remember from the workspace, the generated output was before only random noise, but now it's starting to take shape. In the data distribution, we can see the real inputs compared to generated outputs and how they are distributed. So the real inputs here are the blue dots, while the generated outputs are the red ones. And the goal is for their distribution to look similarly. At the bottom right, we have something which we call the view box. Now the view box you can control by clicking around on the map over here. This lets you peek into each and every component in your model and get a live view on how it's performing. You can see the output, the weights and biases, and the gradients. This has turned out to be a great way to debug your model as you get full transparency and insight into what's going on at all times during training. As soon as training is done, a test pop-up is going to show where it will tell you how the model performed and allow you to run the test. When you start testing the model, it works very similarly to the statistic window, where you have a map at the very bottom. Again, you can click through the map. And then at the top of it, as soon as it's loaded, you'll see some statistics. So here you can sample by sample go through the model and see how it looks like with the generated random input compared to the generated output. We can look into the different dense components or what is switch component outputs. This way you can really peek into your model and understand what's going on both during training and after the training. Now, hopefully you can see how much easier it is to train, interpret and validate your model using Perceptive Labs. Great! We have now built, trained and tested the model. Next step is to export it to production or share it with your friends and teammates. We'll go over how to do that in our last tutorial in this series, Getting Started with Perceptor Labs. And don't forget to visit our forum at forum.perceptlabs.com. You can also reach out to me directly at our Slack channel if you have any issues, suggestions or just want to get in touch. Feedback is always welcome.